Let's get straight into the goal kicking challenge. Mm, so mm. what a day. It was a great day. It was an amazing day. That's where I met you lads. I've followed your stuff for a, a fair while now, even though you've only started in December. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, it hasn't been long. Crazy. Er, hasn't early been days. Long. But yeah. it, it, I've followed your stuff, the commentary stuff. It's absolutely hilarious for anyone who hasn't checked it out. So we had the goal kicking challenge and it was almost the Avengers of AFL content. <laughs> and it was AFL creation. Yeah. We came down, myself and Miles, we've had a bit of a shocker a mare. and Archie pushed prime train to yeah. the absolute limits shocking start i had um i try going like dom she <laughs> like my left foot is on like on nudging the boundary and i yep. decided yeah i'm gonna drop fun of here shouldn't no. have done it it's probably cost me the whole game but um no straight out in front just locked and loaded 20 meters out you got to kick those and you know your head can't be you know going anywhere else and yeah I'm not gonna lie, i sort of felt a bit of pressure well, so that's that's a funny thing about um, the goal kicking challenges on my channel. Yeah. So I've been doing these for a few years now, and every now and again, even the best footballers that do the goal kicking challenge, the ones that they miss are the ones right in front. Mm, well, and it a. I just want to ask, like, how did you feel about the pressure? Because there's a couple of cameras, there's a there's a bunch of egos behind the cameras. Right. How did there's you feel? 65, 70,000 subs. 70,000 pe- That's That's, yeah. that's Anzac Day it's watching. It's massive. <laughs> We're at the G. At the whole You've got to think of the scale there. That is the amount of people yeah. watching that. And they've just watched myself just and Miles <laughs> as an absolute nightmare. Shin them <laughs> off the side of the boot. Um, so talk us through that day. How did you guys find it? Well, we loved it. Going in, like we knew it was going to be a good day because... Well, all the boys, we've watched their content, watched your content yeah. and all that. Similar like-minded people yeah. wanting to so make weird, fun. So weird, like having seen you through a screen for like so <laughs> long. I'm like I, I've, I've seen your content for like years. Like, yeah. Like Kate Oss, he's, he's doing well. This is funny <laughs> stuff. And then Prime Train, obviously the last nine months or whatever. And yeah. Nine to five, they're like Melbourne, you know, influencers and stuff. So like I've seen all their gear and... Yeah, it was just pretty surreal, like going, oh shit, I'm hanging out with all these <laughs> I guys. I feel like today. we sort of, we bounced off each other really well. Like, we like, walked in and the chemistry was just on, like, we sort of <laughs> knew what, we knew what business we were doing and, yeah. you know, we all went about it really well and, yeah, I was, I was stoked with it. Yeah, the banter was amazing straight off the bat um, and I, I knew that I, I would get on with all the boys, but I, I knew that I'd get on with you boys, yeah. um, like, straight away, um, especially... Like, let's talk about the content because I've watched the content. You guys have fired it up in December. Um, once again, just to give a little bit of context, it's the commentary content to all sorts of sport. Mm. It's the footy, it's mm-hmm. the soccer, it's the cricket. It was yep. mainly the cricket that I saw really, really early. So how did the Shep Mates TikTok start? And um, yeah, h- how's it been going since? Well, it started, as I said earlier, just with, with us sort of posting these quizzes on on TikTok, we're raging up. at people that couldn't get the quiz right. <laughs> yeah, so it's the like, world's easiest quiz. And we're just raging at people. It's like this thirty-second quiz, ten questions of like really basic, easy ones, and we just like try and go as quick as we can. And these people <laughs> were just so slow at it, and we just lose it in our cars. Yeah, um, but we just posted them out like every day, and then we got like eight thousand followers just from that. And yeah, then that's crazy. Yeah, out of the blue, we actually started doing like a couple little skits in between the quizzes and the commentary. There was a couple little skits that I don't know if you search for it, you'll probably find it. Um, and then Miles, we were pretending to be like salesmen and yeah, in like <laughs> a work workplace. We used to work at um, Bowen's Timber and Hardware in in the sales room <laughs> on the phones and whatnot. So we'd sort of just like relate to that a and bit, take the like, piss out of that. Yeah. Um, so we did a couple of those and then started posting the commentary stuff and that just blew off straight away. Yeah. Um, Mitchell Stark, first ball, the ashes, mm. stumps everywhere. Yep. And <laughs> JB just goes off his head on radio. So And it was just something that the content just kept coming. Like Well, like Scotty Bolland and Yeah, yeah. like all Miles the- had tapped into this thing and it's like, Holy shit, people like this and there's sort of like all this really good gear that we can put out yeah. you start getting into like the nitty gritty commentary of like you go back in the day where it was <laughs> a bit more loose like yeah they'd start filming like the cheerleaders and <laughs> yeah like, you get the cheeky yeah. tony greg commentary on <laughs> yeah. it, like, one or two comments saying <laughs> sexist like, well, no not really it's, it's not me i'm just yeah i'm <laughs> taking <laughs> something that has previously been said like, yeah yeah um but since then the afl and then like we can just go on and do heaps of sports and whatnot but we sort of want to get into like more skits and and whatnot and like what we did with yeah. on that day with you guys, where we whipped up so much fun. That one skit that we posted on our TikTok account, the umpires. Yeah, just I think it was the umpiring one over the decades. Mm. And you were we a ripping umpire, by the way. We literally whipped that mm. up, and I'm 
probably five to ten minutes. Like that's it didn't how take long. long that like, particular split yeah. took probably five to ten. <laughs> like oh, it took me about three weeks to get the goal kicker challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, Kato. <Kate. laughs> I was just thinking off the top. Like I hadn't come in like pre-planned. We'd had some other stuff pre-planned, but we're like. Hang on, nah, I reckon this one's going to work better. Winging like, stuff like that is the best. Yeah, we just oh, yeah. winged it. We're like, okay, hang on, now we'll go 70s, hang on, we'll go 80s now, do this, mm. now do this, do this. And then all the boys were like getting around it. Cause, and again, well, it's easier when you're around like-minded people. Oh like they God. just want to like, they oh. got all these ideas and yeah. ev- everything, you know, everyone wants to entertain. And, yeah. 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 And no idea's a bad one. It's yes and. and just, we're just go with it, see it. how it goes. We'll see if it comes like, together in the edit. Like Prime, yeah. Prime had his content book out and, <laughs> All that, like, yeah, it was tiring. just awesome to be, be around that. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is is the best. And I've yeah. spoken to um, the lads at Producey about this, and like I've been doing content for a long, long time, like six or seven years, trying to make it in this YouTube and this this creator space. And for the last two years in particular, because of COVID, I've been mm. stuck not only in my hometown but in my house. COVID and it, yeah. it's like I can't go for a kick with Cooko and film it. I can't come up and collaborate with the lads so i was so feeling restricted. like so just like the momentum had dropped off a little bit and i was just battling the last couple of years with the content yeah. so when this got brought up i was like my prayers have been answered it's like yeah. like-minded people we're all bouncing off each other mm. um and yeah coming up it was an unbelievable day so is is skits and stuff sort of where you want to take it or is it more of like a mixture is there podcasts in the pipeline like where do you want to go with it all yeah, well, at the moment, we are really busy with what we're doing at the moment. Like, we've got a couple exciting partnerships with um, the AFL, KO, and a few others working up with sort of this style of content. So we've yep. sort of just got to drive this while while we're doing it, and we're loving it, and it's so such good so fun. So much fun to do. Um, <laughs> but you never know, know what it, commentary yeah. piece is just going to be like. Like, you, you'll listen to it, and then when we start doing doing it, we'll start pissing ourselves. Like, yeah. We'll think, oh, okay, hang on. This might not actually be funny. And then we'll do it and then we'll start laughing and be like, okay, this will probably be a good video. Mm. But we know we've got that skit element in our back pocket that we can, like, once it, it dries out a bit, we can just start going ham on it. Yeah, so you can we've grow... We've got that confidence now. Yeah, yeah you can grow the audience with what they're loving in the minute. Yeah. Knowing that you can transition a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. We want to listen to the audience as well. Like, you know, it's predominantly a, a very much a sports-based audience. So if we can do skits around, like, AFL, yeah. all these other sports, like... I'm sure people will love it. And we want to eventually, t- well, we will be taking that into YouTube. We got the YouTube account. Uh, I was the first what, subscriber. Three weeks ago. Yeah, YouTube Kato's account. Subscriber. <laughs> when you posted that, I'm like, yeah, we might as well get an account up. I think it's got like 35 <laughs> subs and I haven't even posted yet. So I might might get on that and post a video on there. <laughs> as one of my great mates said, when I had about 30 subs back in the day, he said, Rome wasn't built in a day. Not a day. Actually, mm. I think he tailored it to the MCG wasn't built in the day. And now right. whenever I hit like milestones, like 50,000 or 70,000 the other day, he'll just DM me. He's like, MCD wasn't built in a day, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bloody oath. The yeah, so it's crazy to see that yeah, that growth already and we haven't even posted anything. Um, but eventually, like the podcast thing is definitely something we want to go down. We love talking. Like yeah. us two, we're very, we bounce off each other very well. So... Oh, well, obviously we've just had 20, 20 years, years of Cam. Together, like, yeah. 20 years Cam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're keen to launch that whenever whenever it's ready, but that's like not really in our focus yet. We've got other things to focus on at the moment.